51% of the overall Google searches are used to research a purchase they plan to make. Isn't that impressive? So let me show you a way you can take advantage of that and start making up to $10,000 a month. First, let me tell you about Michelle. Michelle is a 33-year-old mom that quit her job to chase financial freedom doing the business I'm going to show you in this video. She managed to make $760,000 a year as passive income. I know there are some geeks out there listening to this. Geeks, bro and telling themselves some excuses such as she is old and probably started when Michael Jackson was still alive. So let me tell you about this 26-year-old that turned this same exact business into a $170,000 per year business. And the fun part is she only started in 2020 at the age of 24. So the real question here is what is holding you back? The other day I was searching for a good keyboard to buy. Then I got into this website right here. After reading what they had to say, I decided to buy this one. So I clicked in the link to see it in Amazon. So by using their link, they will get a commission if I bought that product or anything related to it. And that is called Amazon Affiliate. This is a huge way for these websites to make money. And all they are doing is being the middleman between the Google search and the purchase. So to make that work, all they do is write articles about how good a product is, trying to convince people to buy, or writing an article about top five products. And they add their affiliate link. And these websites are getting a lot of free traffic from Google. There is a lot of money to be made in this business. Even the New York Times bought a website called The Wire Cutter for $30 million. That's how crazy this side hustle is. This business is a great choice to start in 2023 for several reasons. Firstly, it doesn't require a lot of money to begin. You mainly invest your time. All you need is a domain name, which costs $5 if you sign up using the link provided below, and a hosting platform like Hostinger Link also provided below. Secondly, this business focuses on affiliate income, a type of passive income. Once you publish articles and rank them on the first pages of Google, they will continue to attract visitors and generate income for years to come. The best part is that as you your business grows, you can outsource some tasks. When you become bigger, you can hire writers to do the work for you while you enjoy the profits. However, in the beginning, you have to invest all your time and effort yourself. After a few months of consistent work, you'll be able to outsource some tasks. The only downside is that it may take some time to start making money, typically around four to six months to see results. But I have some tips and tricks on how to speed up the business. I'll share them later in the video, so stay tuned until the end. But first, let me share three different ways to make money from websites besides a affiliate marketing. The first way is through ads. You can display ads on your website and earn money for each person who views them. Many people know about Google AdSense, but there's another option called Mediavine, which pays more per 1,000 views. Google AdSense typically pays around $2 to $3 per 1,000 views, while Mediavine pays between $15 to $30 per 1,000 views. The amount you earn can vary depending on your website's niche. For example, tech or money-making niches tend to earn more than gaming or sports niches because advertisers in those niches are willing to pay higher rates. The second way to make money is by selling placements. Many companies will approach you to put their products on your website. They are willing to pay significant amounts to have their products featured in the number one or two products of your articles, since top-ranked products generally receive the most clicks. The third way is selling digital products or courses on your website. This is a more advanced approach and requires a returning audience to your site. If you're just starting out, focus on creating content first. Once you have a consistent flow of monthly traffic, you can consider selling courses or digital products related to your niche. For example, if your website is about cooking, you could sell a cooking course or cooking ebooks, among other things. Digital products can be lucrative since you don't need to spend money on ads. You already have a built in audience to sell to. To start this business, the first and most important thing is to choose a niche to focus on. Take your time to find the best one that suits you. Many beginners make some mistakes when choosing their niche. One mistake is picking a niche that is already filled with too many people doing the same thing, like health or tech. Another mistake is sticking to a niche that doesn't work well for them. If you you realize you're in the wrong area, you can start a new website in a different one and use what you've learned to make it successful. To find the right niche for you, write down 10 things that interest you, then rank them from 1 to 10, with number 1 being your favorite. After that, check how much money you can make in each niche and the different ways you can earn money from it. If your top choice doesn't offer good income opportunities, try the second one and keep doing this until you find the best fit for you. The next step is to create a website. I understand that most people watching this video might not be web developers, so I'll show you how to make a website with without using any code. We'll use WordPress, which is a simple and popular tool for creating websites and blogs. In fact, more than one in four websites on the internet are powered by WordPress, making it a widely used platform. To get started, sign up for Hostinger and use the one-click install to set up WordPress on your server. Once installed, you'll have access to your new dashboard. The next thing you need to do is find a theme for your website. There are many free themes available on the internet, but I recommend investing some money in a high-quality theme to ensure your website loads quickly. Fast loading times are essential for better Google 
ranking. The first thing you should focus on is getting your website to appear on the first pages of Google. It might be tough to compete with big websites like New York Times or PCW World since you are just starting out. However, there's a way to improve your chances. Instead of trying to rank for a broad keyword, choose a more specific one. For example, if you want to write about the best laptops, you could narrow it down to the best laptops for graphic design. This way, you won't have to compete directly with the huge websites that spend a lot of money on their online presence. To do this, make sure to use many relevant keywords in your article. You can find these keywords by researching what your competitors have written about. There's a helpful tool called Surfer SEO, which is a Chrome extension. It lets you see how many people search for specific keywords every month. Try to target keywords with low competition to increase your chances of ranking higher on Google. Now all you have left is to write articles. You can use ChatGPT as the free option or Jasper Eye as the premium option. So you can produce a lot of content fast. Make sure to humanize the articles so it has some personality in. And that's it for this video. Subscribe for more information like this and watch this video here if interested.